Welcome to What to Pair, your no frills channel for pairing food and wine. So today we are covering meatloaf and I have my top five pairings below. And generally I base my ranking on affordability, popularity, like what's gonna be a crowd pleaser. Also, you know, I don't wanna list a wine that's very rare. So popularity works into that as well. And consistency. Some wines, you know, they might be expensive for better quality, but the lower quality wines might not be that great. My first pairing is either a Cabernet Sauvignon or Merlot. And I would suggest a medium bodied Cab Sauve or a Merlot with a bit of spiciness to it. And these wines, they generally have, you know, refreshing red and black fruit flavors such as cherry, blackberry, red or black currant, plum, and I find Merlot tends to lean more towards cherry and sometimes chocolatey. Whereas Cab Sauve, it tends to add more complex flavors like leather, tobacco, menthol, and green peppercorn. And this kind of adds just an extra oomph to your meatloaf pairing. So why I like these two wines is that, you know, generally meatloaf, it's got quite a bit of protein in it. And because these wines are medium bodied, there's enough tannin in there that the tannin in the wine is kind of subdued. And it brings out all these extra flavors in the wine that just seem refreshing or add that extra flavor to your meatloaf. It's just quite an enjoyable pairing. And when you have medium bodied, you'll taste both the wine and the meatloaf on the finish, which is what you want. If you go like a high alcohol kind of heavy cab soap or Merlot, it just might overwhelm your meatloaf because meatloaf is cut with, you know, sometimes herbs and uh, breadcrumbs and other ingredients that it might not have enough fat and protein in it to handle the tannin in these two heavy duty wines. So always go medium bodied. My next pairing is Shiraz and Merlot and I give this four stars. And you know, I would select a jammy Australian Shiraz full of blueberry and dark fruit flavors. You also find some notes of black pepper in uh, an Australian Shiraz. And it just goes well with Merlot again as these flavors are refreshing against meatloaf. Sometimes meatloaf can be dry. It's just gonna fix that dryness in your meatloaf and it's gonna make it taste a little more flavorful. And again, you should taste both the Shiraz and meatloaf on the finish, which is what you want. Pairing number four is Zinfandel and I give this four out of five stars. Zinfandel is incredibly food friendly due to its acidity and Zinfandel has a ton of fruit flavors. Some sometimes call it a fruit bomb. What I like about Zinfandel is it, that it has like a subtle sweetness and it sort of mimics ketchup. So ketchup, you know, has that vinegar tomato base, very high in acidity and has a touch of sugar. And Zinfandel is similar. You know how you put ketchup on a burger, it just kind of makes the meat taste alive. This is what Zinfandel will do with meatloaf. It also has a bit of a smoky edge, which I think adds a bit of extra flavor to your meatloaf. My final pairing is either a Barbera or a Dolcetto. These are Italian red wines that are typically low in alcohol. They're light because they are low in alcohol. That's usually what we mean by light is low in alcohol. And it's balanced with a sweet tannin and acidity. So it's perfect with meatloaf in a tomato sauce or in a like a ketchup kind of sauce because, you know, they are acidic so they won't clash with these sauces. If you put a cab sauve or merlot against a ketchup or tomato sauce, it might not work because it might make the wine taste flat. Where with Barbera and Dolcetto and even Zinfandel, which you know is high in acidity in most cases, these will go perfect. But I do give it three and a half stars because these two wines, they have a rustic charm where it has like an herbal or an earthy note that not everyone loves. So that wraps up my top five pairings with meatloaf. Until next time, cheers.